Brett, at some point it seems that we could have a whole series on how many different ways can you cook a cheesesteak? And yep, and here we are for yet another one. This is one I kind of just popped in my head. I text Adam immediately. He said, yep, that's on the docket this week. It weekend. went on the docket, went on the menu, and we went and got the groceries for this one. You want to see us knock out a cheesesteak pressed burrito? Stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, we just want to drop in real quick to say we've got a little bit of an announcement. We do super excited about the recent release of our all new cookbook, Smash. And with that, Jason Benson of Benson Farms is here and we're partnering with him for this giveaway. Jason, what are we giving away? All right, so we're gonna give away uh, to five uh, five lucky winners. Some of our Benson Farms grass finished beef. So yes. this is a 14 day dry aged grass finished ground beef. It's delicious. Uh, uh, we're gonna give away uh, five of the Pit Boss Smashers. Smashers. Yep. Uh -huh. And then also copies of the cookbook and we're yes. gonna have that autographed right so yes, that's right we're gonna sign it and cookbook. personalize it too yep absolutely so five winners this month through the month of july from july 1st well i know we're in july 3rd by now yeah from july 3rd through july 31st we are going to be selecting five winners for this so all you have to do to enter is click the link below in the pinned comment in the description that you can see right here on the screen make sure and use this link to be entered to be one of five winners to win this amazing package yep it's from benson farms the find out more about Benson Farms, you can check out BensonFarmsAL.com. Find out why we are partnering with Benson Farms for a healthy, delicious alternative of meat, yep. right? And we are doing the ground beef specifically for Smash to help celebrate so you can make some amazing Smash burgers from the Benson Farm products. So we can't wait to share this with you and good luck to you all. I hope you win. Really happy Brett happened to see some pictures inspired by a restaurant in New York. I think it was, and I, I feel terrible that I can't remember it, but it, they called it like the uh, like the volcano okay. cheesesteak or something like that. There so you I go. think it, whatever it was, it, it told me they have a sauce on there that's very hot. And I was like, Ooh, no, no, okay. no. We're gonna go basic cheesesteak pressed style yep. burrito. Really happy for this one. Brett gets the ingredients so people know what's going in this one. The groceries, I mean. Right? Here we go. We've got ribeye that we love this stuff. Yes. It is shaved so thin you can see both sides. We've got provolone cheese, salt and pepper and we're gonna be putting oh and diced onions yes. and we're gonna be putting them on these uh, burrito tortillas. Yes. Right, so we thought, man, we could dress these anyway. Mushrooms, green peppers, all that. We thought we're keeping this simple. simple and we're going, we're going even light on onions. We want a lot of cheesiness in this. We want that cheesesteak to come through. Yes. Ah! Just fly zipping around here. Tells me it's time to zip on over to the griddle. Let's go That's knock right. this one here out. Here we go. Zip on over to the griddle. <laughs> All right, so real quick, Brett has had the griddle on. We've got these on low. These are off. We actually want the griddle on about medium. I'm going to bring these up. That's right, up we're doing steak. Because we are, we want that to cook quick. So we're going to lay some butter down. It is going to be really, really hot already. So he's going to lay the butter down and then quickly get into the, onion. the onions before that butter burns. And we say a little bit of onions, we really mean just a little yeah, bit of onions. Yeah, this is. This is that for is it right there. Yep, either one large burrito or two smaller burritos. We're not exactly sure which we're going to do yet, but we got the gravity fed electric pepper and salt shakers doing their job. And that's it. We're just going to saute these for a minute. Yep. And uh, Brett, when those start cooking, once those are cooking up good, I would go ahead and get a spot ready for the cheesesteak or for the, uh, steak? For the steak. Yeah. So now, we're do. not using any oil for this. We're hoping to get a little bit of a sear as the winds pick up. All right, there we go. Slap that down. Spread it out a little bit so we can get as much sear as possible on it. There we go. And we're just gonna let that sit like that for just about 30 seconds to a minute. Then we'll flip it and really start chopping it up. Get heavy on the salt and pepper because it's the only seasoning going into this one. Correct. And we're only gonna season the one side. So it looks like a lot, but it's, it's just enough. Don't want the uh, camera to overheat. Had to back away a little bit. There you go. Kind of flatten those out so they can continue to saute. Mm -hmm. Saute. Sachet. And then this is where I start to get in there. Turn it over. Give it a flip. And then we start chopping away. All right, so we just kind of chop it and to grind this just a little bit. But that's about it, and we're gonna let it finish no cooking through. So this is all real time. We've been on, the camera's been on for three minutes and 15, three minutes, 20 seconds. And you can see the meat is already almost done. Yeah, the meat is just about there. Yeah, Brett, I think you're right. I was saying 
one big burrito, but let's go two burritos. That's a lot <laughs> on those. Is, yes, it is. Now I would shave it one more time and then let it spread out so it can cook through and then we'll start making our piles. We'll introduce the onions. Yeah, that's what I mean. Get, I always forget that, don't I? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our stacks. There's just a little nope, bit of pickup get the onions first. I always say that. <laughs> we're gonna get the onions in there. Oh man, and we want to evenly distribute these. Like we said, there's not very much onion. We've over onioned before. Yes. Onions are good, but I like them as an accent to give it flavor. I don't like it being the centerpiece yes. of my uh, cheese. Great. Steak. You want it to complement yes. the flavor, not overtake. Right. All right, go ahead and separate with your two piles. I would bring the um, griddle all the way down to low. Okay, so we're gonna separate that, gonna get the uh, griddle down to low, both of them down to low. Okay, I'm gonna come to the other side. Come to the other side. To the other side. side. So Brett wants to do two. I'm thinking three I'm overlap. Thinking Look, I'm thinking overlapped. Yeah, get some cheesiness on those. Adam didn't pay for the cheese, so. <laughs> Oh man, it's funny because it's true. All right, now, oh, oh, oh man. So the best part is, is we can lay these down on the griddle. And Brett, we can go ahead and start building because this part's off, but it's gonna be nice and toasty. So I would take a stack and put it in the middle, wherever you are to start building, right? There you go. Peels are good. <laughs> I'll go on top, that's fine. These are gonna be meaty now, how burritos. About all of these, Adam? It did prove to be a little bit too hot on the griddle. So we pulled it onto the side plate here. So we're gonna fold this and roll this. And then that's going back on the griddle to finish melting that cheese up. Look at that. It's a little. All right, that yeah, is definitely I'd warm. go ahead and put that on there. So that is gonna go. I've got the griddle on right here in the middle. So I'm gonna get that. Okay, so now just scoop this onto your. This one going. There we go. All right. Oh, look we'll at that. And that cheese is melted. Oh, I can't wait for that. So we're gonna fold this in. This is Brett's smaller burrito. <laughs> I thought they were. <laughs> yep. All right. We'll get those on so we can get the press going. We want to go there gentle go. with this because we don't want to yep, explode. Yep, we're just setting it on there. Going to leave it for about 30 seconds and then we'll flip it. All right, we did want to put butter down and we forgot. So we're going to do it on the second side on the flip. <laughs> that butter's been out here in the Florida heat. It's already melted. So there we go. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip these. So just it just gives it a little bit of extra butteriness that we really enjoy. So yep. There we go, flippity doo da and flippity -a. Flip a. There we go. We'll get, we'll go ahead and let those go. And Brett, we're gonna go ahead and shoot some B-roll, kind of cut those, cut one open, and see how it is. And uh, we'll wrap this up. Yep. Yeah, that's <laughs> you can tell. Well, there it is in all, in all its cheese glory. glory. I'm laughing because Brett had cut this, and then when he went to grab him, I knew he was going to grab the one that looked a little bit bigger and juicier. Well, juicier, <laughs> a little bit the way the cut went. And uh, I happened to grab it first while I was in doing favors. <laughs> it is still really hot. I got to put it down. <laughs> this guy's all about it. I really got it. it. This was, like Nashville. we said, it was super fun, easy cook to do. These cheesesteak cooks are always easy and the burrito version is just another one. By the way, it's a little more echoey in here. We had to shut the garage door just a little bit. The sunshine is just glaring right at us. It's so not we... helping the, the airflow in here, which is <laughs> oh my terrible. God, sweltering on this hot, hot day. But it has been nice to actually be cooking in the shade today. Right, it has. But man, you know what, Brett? Like we say, it can look amazing. This Let's just jump back into okay. this. It, it like looks amazing. amazing. Like we say, it can smell amazing. This cheesesteak, baby. Does smell oh, like it smells cheese Can I get a Smell yeah! Smell yeah, it can. But if it doesn't taste amazing, this is all for now. And I'm gonna Cheers. be disappointed. I'll, I'll eat to that, that, my brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, mmm. That's hot. Mmm. Mm. How are you not sucking your face? Oh, 
Salt. That season to perfection. Salt, pepper. You know what this reminds me of when what? we did the cheesesteak egg rolls, the Philly cheesesteak oh, egg rolls? Yeah. <laughs> With that tortilla, oh, yeah. but like a fresher version because you don't have the deep fry on there. Mm -hmm. That meat and that cheese. Mm. 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 Kudos to you. I know. I on the extra it. cheese. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go mm -hmm. two slices per out of like three slices per. Good call. Oh my gosh. I, want I have done a cheesesteak where I wish I had a little more cheese. That's why I always know go a little bit more. Provolone is not a strong cheese. Mm -hmm. It just gives that cheesiness. Mm. Mm. You can even go white cheddar on this if you wanted to. Oh boy, mm, look at what, that. A, what a good, what a good burrito. I'm in, I'm in. I mean, <laughs> look at that cheese bowl. For days. To try this one. Mm -hmm. Personal really good call. Yep, little layer of butter was awesome. Yeah, I can taste the butteriness on it. It's fantastic. You have to try this one. Yes, you do. You have it's to do it's a, a cheesesteak pressed burrito on your griddle and let us know how it turns out. What other ingredients would you put in? Again, we're not calling this a Philly, not an authentic Philly. It's just a cheesesteak burrito. So right. do you like mushrooms? Do you like peppers, onions? Everything else, would you put a sauce in this? I would change nothing. Nothing. I Absolutely think we had the zero. right amount of onions. onions. You just got the flavor and the taste and the crunch every once in a while, but that's it. Yep, that's it. And um, uh, can we say that's it for this? Cause I want to finish this up. If you have been watching this point, you're still watching us in your comment. Make sure and say easy cheesy. <laughs> Just like we are super easy cheesy dudes. Really love that we get to come and do these ones. Me too. If you enjoyed this, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook and Smashed. Both available on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. Again, love that we get to come and do this. Yes, This cheesesteak burrito is going to be up there. It's one of my most memorable. It's still, that flavor is still right there in my mouth. I just want more. From the moment I, I this popped in my head till now, this is exactly what you how, for. yep, exactly right. Aside from coming and knocking out bangers like this one, why else do we do all this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. With that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.